In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the sample size. We're going to work on two example problems. Let's start with this one. The average test score of all students in a certain class was measured to be 84 with a standard deviation of 15. If the margin of error was calculated to be 5.367 at a 95% confidence level, how many students were in this class? Well, let's write down what we know. So the average, or in this case the mean, is 84. The standard deviation is 15. The margin of error is 5.367. And our goal is to calculate the sample size, or the number of students that were in this class. So how can we do this? Well, it helps to know the formula for the margin of error. The margin of error is equal to the z-score times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. If we square both sides, we'll get e squared is equal to z squared times theta squared over n. And then if we swap n and e squared, we get this formula. The sample size is equal to the z is equal to the square of the z score times the square of the standard deviation divided by the square of the error. So what is z? For a 95% confidence level, z is 1.96. For those of you who need a review on how to calculate z from a certain confidence level, I'll be posting a few links in the description section below. So feel free to take a look at that if you want more videos on statistics and other similar content. So now that we know what z is, we can plug it into this formula. The standard deviation is 15. And the margin of error, that is 5.367. So let's go ahead and plug everything in to this formula. So the sample size is 30. So that's how many students were in this class when this particular statistical experiment was performed. So that's the answer for this problem. Now let's work on another problem. Sally wants to determine what proportion of high school students are planning to enroll in college after they graduate. Given a 95% confidence level and a margin of error of 5%, what is the maximum sample size that she should use in order to perform this statistical experiment? So keep in mind, we want to calculate the maximum sample size. The formula that we could use to calculate the sample size, given a proportion, which is different from the last problem, is n is equal to z squared times p hat multiplied by 1 minus p hat divided by the square of the margin of error. So we're dealing with a 95% confidence level, so we know that z is 1.96. The margin of error is 5%. So converting that into a decimal, we need to divide 5% by 100, so the margin of error is 0.5. 0, 0.5. Now we need, to we need to determine what value should we use for p hat because Sally wants to determine the proportion of high school students who are planning to enroll in college after they graduate. So she doesn't know what this value is. So what value should she use? Now keep in mind she wants to calculate the maximum n value. So what is the best sample proportion that she should use such that p hat times 1 minus p hat will give her the greatest value. Well, let's plug in a few numbers. So let's say this is p hat 1 minus p hat. And then on the right will be the product of these two figures. So the maximum value of p is 1. If we choose the value of 1, this is 0. The product will be 0. So that's not good. 
let's say if we were to choose 0.7, then this will be 0.3. 1 minus 0.7 is 0.3. 0 0.7 times 0.3, that's 0.21. If p hat was 0.6, 1 minus p hat will be 0 0.4. 0 0.6 times 0.4 is 0.24. Now, if p hat is 0.5, 1 minus p hat will be 0.5. The product of these two will be 0.25. So choosing a value of 0.5 would yield the maximum product and thus the maximum sample size. So we're going to use 0.5 for the sample proportion. Now let's plug in everything into this formula. So this is going to be 1.96 squared times 0.5 and then 1 minus 0.5, which is 0.5 divided by e squared, or 0 0.05 squared. So we know that 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. Multiplying that by 1.96 squared, that gives us 0 0.9604. And then we're going to divide that by 0 0.05 squared. And so n, in this example, is going to be 384.16. Now we want to determine the maximum sample size, and we can only use a whole number. So we're going to round this up to 385. So that's the sample size that we want to use given a 95% confidence level. And if we want the margin of error to be 5% using a sample proportion of 0.5.